Hello everyone, we will solve one more question on the same detail line method. The question says that a pentagonal pyramid, pentagon 5 sides, pyramid detail line method. Base edge 18 mm, axial height 48 mm, resting on its base on HP such that one base edge is parallel to BP. So first we will solve the question one base edge parallel to BP and it is cut by a section plane passing through a point 20 mm on its axis. So it means this is the question of truncated pyramid. So how we will start? We will start uh, just similar to the normal question how a pentagonal pyramid will be placed. So this is XY line. We have VP HP one base edge is parallel to VP. So it means I'll take one base edge in the pentagon parallel to VP and base edge is given 18 mm. So I'm taking it 18 like this. Then after that I have to complete the pentagon. What is the internal angle? I told you 180 minus 360 by N. So it is 108. So from this side, if you take measure 108 it is coming equals to this point after that i have to cut it again 18 mm so i'm taking like this then again 108 so from this side it will come 108 and i have to take 18 mm like this then the fourth side again 108 again 18 side and then closing side Right? Now this is a top view of the pentagonal pyramid but we know that the top view will have the apex and uh, I have solved one more question in the same way. We have to find out the apex. How to find out the apex? You have to find out the midpoint of two adjacent sides. So let's say from here I am taking the two arcs. I have explained this in the previous video when we develop a truncated pyramid. You can take the help of that video how I am doing this. I have bisected this line and any adjacent line let's say I am taking the bisector of this and here also now I will draw the line so it is coming on this point so this is the apex now I will join this line with the base corners So this is the top view. Now what we do, we have to do the numbering extreme left corner. Let's say I'm starting with 1, 2, 3, 4, then 5. Similarly here 4. After that we have to take the projections. Like this. Now apex, it will start from here. It will actually, it will be the uh, same line so that is why i'm not making uh, one long one short because it will overlap with the base face edge so it is given there height is 48 so from here i'll take the height 48 you get this point now i will make the light front view because this is the truncated pyramid so later on we have to develop this after sectioning so i get this point so this is the apex O dash so here is the numbering so 1 dash for this so this is the point 2 dash this is the point 3 dash similarly this point 4 dash and this point 5 dash right so this is the edge now after that we have to develop this first we will develop it without sectioning which normally how we develop the surface we have solved a number of questions on the same so what we do after this we have to take the outermost slant height now outermost slant height means o dash 3 dash o dash 4 dash or o dash 1 dash but in the top view we have to check is it parallel to xy 
if it is not parallel we have to make it parallel because if it is not parallel then o dash 3 dash is not the two slant height so here it is not parallel in the top view it means we have to make it parallel how we make it parallel first from this you draw horizontal line means this is the o3 line it must be like this so it is like this so i have to make it parallel so what we do i draw the line means if it is like this parallel to xy then it is giving the two slant height so i will open the compass put it at o point open up to three like this right and then i will make the arc like this now you can see very clearly if i have rotated you are having this point three one now this is the two slant height right so we will take the projection upward i have explained this uh, in more detail in the last question but i have solved that is the projection of uh, this hexagonal pyramid you can uh, watch that also for more clarity so this is 3 1 dash it will hardly have 1 or 2 mm but we have to show this the true slant height so i will take the radius now o 3 1 dash not o 3 dash and open the compass and draw this arc now on this we have to cut five base edges three four and then five now you have to join them but we will need to do all these things very light because we don't need uh, the upper part that has to be removed so initially i'm making it light Later on we will make the dark portion whatever the given or the required surface is there. So every base corner I am joining with the apex like this. Now we don't need that part of the arc we will erase. So this is the base corner 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then again 1. So this is the development without sectioning. Now we will solve the second part it is cut by a section plane passing from 20 mm from its apex at an angle of 30 so this is apex so 20 mm from this so it means i will take this point so this is the point from where we have to pass the section line okay and the angle is given 30 degree to the base so i put the protector here and i mark the 30 degree angle so this is the point means in this way the line is passing So we are cutting the line like this. This is the remote part, right? After that, uh, now I can make the dark portion, the remaining part. What will be visible in the pyramid? Now do not darken the true slant height because we cannot see the true slant height. That is the construction line. We have get the value. So when you see from the side, one and two, two faces are visible. So two faces dark and what about these these will be the hidden line so i will make the continuous dashes here for the hidden edge and here also the continuous dashes for the hidden edge like right now we will project it here how the same like previous question o1 dash i i got six dash o2 dash i got seven dash o3 dash i got eight dash follow the numbering do not go in the continuity follow the numbering at the base right after that o4 dash now this point will be the 9 dash o5 dash this point will be the 10 dash right after that you have to project it on first line of the developed area so you project it here similarly i got this point i got this point uh, as the dimensions are very less than uh, you can see very small diagram right I got these points same like uh, this is the same method what we did in the development of a hexagonal pyramid so after that you have to rotate just put the pin at this O point of the developed area open up to first projection line then second projection line and draw the continuous arcs In this way, I have drawn this thing. 
I will erase the extra part not required. Now we will mark the numbering. So O1 6. So this is the point 6. After that 2. Where is O2? 7. This is the point O2. O3. Eight, do it very accurately. It will not come in continuity. Nine, o four. So follow the projection of nine. This is the point nine. Ten, o five. Follow the projection of ten. And then o one again six. So this is the point o one. That is six. Right. After that, we have to join them. Straight line between the two points. Six to seven state. 7 to 8 state, 8 to 9 state, similarly 9 to 10 and then 10 to 6. After that we have to darken the base part and the face edges which will be remaining after sectioning. So I am just darkening that part like this. I have explained these diagrams in the theory of this unit. If you watch the theory, you can clearly understand how we are getting these shapes. So this is the development of a truncated pyramid. Now we will do the dimensioning. One base edge. Base edge is given 18 mm. Here it is given, it is 20 from the apex. So I have to mark this distance 20 and the actual axis height is there. Actual height is 48. So we will mark that 48 and the angle at which you are cutting that is 30 degree so you mentioned that also then we will give the name to this view this is front view this is the top view development of surface now after that we have to do the dimensioning of this part also open more than this In this length and into B now N is 18 here actually B is 18 here N is 5 so when you multiply you are getting 90 for slant height, you have to give the dimension of this. We have to measure this part, then we will give the dimension as it will not be given. The two slant height, I am taking it approximate 50, it is coming. So, this is the solution.